All of us worked very hard to preserve this piece of property, and today it uh, comes to fruition. We're very pleased. And the idea that uh, this piece of property would be completely developed rather than only partially developed kind of irked me. And I realized that was the goal. Let's save part of this land at, at the very least. And that's what we did today. How long ago was that? Five and a half years ago. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the Partridge Wetlands. Standing here in the rain seems appropriate as this is above an aquifer recharge area and the aquifer itself. And seeing the amount of rain that's coming down and understanding why we need to protect such pieces of land is why we're here. Today ends 40 years of uncertainty for Westport and this local community. Today begins a future for the diverse ecosystem and another step in wetland, aquifer, and open space protection. Today proves a community, a town, and developers can work together to achieve a common goal and a common good. I would like to thank the officers of this fine organization, Matthew Mandel, Burke Amber, and Sean Timmons for their many contributions to the state of Connecticut. Therefore, I, M. Jody Rell, Governor of the state of Connecticut, do hereby convey honor and recognition to the Partrick Wetlands Preservation Fund in the state of Connecticut. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. You're welcome. That's spectacular. This is a wonderful compromise for all of us. The neighborhood is protected. There will be some new houses going up on part of the land, but the wetlands, and I look in back of me, they are wetlands, folks, <laughs> uh, will be preserved in perpetuity. And I think for our children, as we hear the blasting for the houses, our children will be the beneficiaries of the hard work that these guys did. I think it sends a real message to to Westport that we're we're not anti-development, we're in, in favor of smart growth, that we realize we have to accommodate all interests, and I think we've done so very successfully here, and I congratulate everyone involved. Great, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One of the great satisfactions that I feel about having, having been first select woman at this time was there did seem to be that moment that we could seize. We had strong advocacy coming from the Part of Wet Partrick Wetlands group, and I give you guys such tremendous credit for tenacity and for your organizational skills. <laughs> I think ultimately this turned out good for everybody. We think we're going to build a spectacular project on the other side, and we think everybody will be able to take advantage of this side and these 22 acres and be able to walk here and enjoy nature. So. We're not unhappy about how it ended. We would have rather had 22 houses than 13, but we'll make it through okay. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. There's the deep. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The first acquired open space, the first land that the state of Connecticut purchased, is really in the town of Westport and is now Sherwood Island State Park. So, I mean, this is a great place to talk about open space protection. We have a goal to preserve 21% of the landscape in the state of Connecticut as open space. Uh, we've actually achieved 70% of our goal. But the remaining acquisitions, the remaining parcels to be protected will be very hard fought. We're looking at another 200,000 acres of land in order to meet that goal. And certainly, efforts like yours here today will help us get there. The hardest part was probably just the endless, endless, endless hearings where we had to go and present and discuss. Um, it took an enormous amount of time of uh, both myself, Matt, and many, many other neighbors and friends, um, you know, attorneys involved. Uh, those were the hard parts. Uh, and then the, uh, the negotiation at the end was, uh, was somewhat challenging, but we pushed through that and uh, we ended up with a great resolution. <laughs> Did you ever see, think you'd see this day? If you don't think you can see this day, then it won't occur. So you set out with your goal knowing that it will occur and you keep working at it until you achieve it.